Today we're going to install a uh, an underfloor temperature sensor for the uh, underfloor heating system that we have in this bathroom, uh, which is controlled by a KNX actuator. We prefer using underfloor heating, uh, underfloor sensor. Sorry, even though we could easily use the uh, uh, PIR sensor, the, the movement sensor that we've got in the ceiling already, which is a, again a KNX uh, movement sensor that most of them have, I mean, pretty sure this one will have as well, uh, a, temperature, a temperature sensor incorporated. We're using the underfloor, as I was saying, uh, mainly because, mainly for bathrooms, because uh, we want to make sure that the temperature reading is the one that uh, it is the one at the uh, floor level, rather than you know, picked up by the by the um, uh, the ceiling movement sensor, which is basically which would be the temperature in the air. As you can see, I have removed this uh, this piece of plasterboard to get access this a behind to behind the switch where our temperature sensor will connect to the, uh, the input output cable that we've already run. Yeah, well, normally we don't do this because we. Uh, when we run all the cable, when we run all the cables, we actually make sure that we have the temperature sensors in there as well. But for some reason, this time we don't have it. So, yeah, I'll show you how we will do this thing. So when you come in the bathroom, when you or you get out of the shower, um, you don't find a cold, unwelcoming bathroom floor. Nobody wants that. As you can see, I have chased this little channel here, uh, which will accommodate the sensor itself and some part of the cable. The cable will go up, up like this, and it will come, you will see later, it will come up in the switch, actually in the back box of the switch, where I will make the connections to the uh, CAT6 here. That will go down in the plant from in the board inside the board where we have input output device which will pick up the um, temperature given by the sensor what i'm gonna do now is i'm gonna apply some silicone on top just to make sure it won't be damaged by anyone um, especially the detailers yeah so now the sensor is connected to the cat 6 i've also terminated uh, these uh, knx cables that will go to the switch I'll show you where the other where the other end of the cat six goes. So the two cores, green and the white green, be connected to this little device here, which is an input device, picks up the uh, temperature for the temperature sensor and then communicates by the Kenex bus right there with the actuator, with the actuator that, that will turn the valves on and off according to the desired uh, temperature that we have previously uh, programmed. 